This is LSD. Research that's so controversial no official group will fund it and now scientists testing LSD on British volunteers have made a video to ask the public for help. We are on the verge of something great. In a world first, 20 people have been injected with the illegal hallucinogen and then had their brains scanned so its effect can be monitored. But after traditional research bodies turned them down, the scientists resorted to the crowdfunding site Wallacea, hoping to raise £25,000 to complete the study. I mean, people often say, you know, are you actually promoting the use? And we say, no. What we're doing is trying to use one of the most interesting drugs that's ever been, a drug which many people, such as Steve Jobs, said profoundly changed the way in which they thought about their lives, but a drug which could open up whole new avenues of neuroscience as well as therapeutics. We want to study that. It's, it's irrational to stop scientists studying a drug as important as LSD. In the 1960s, research suggested LSD could be used to treat addiction, depression and chronic pain, but when the drug was made illegal, the studies stopped. There is, though, a track record of drugs making it as medicines. Sativex is derived from cannabis and is widely prescribed for multiple sclerosis. But psychiatrists are still cautious about using LSD. Some people can get very agitated under the influence of, of uh, these particular drugs, such as LSD, um, LSD in particular. Uh, so I don't think it is appropriate to use it in mental disorders. The researchers say three of the volunteers became anxious and temporarily paranoid, but even though some found the experience challenging, they reported being psychologically refreshed afterwards. And the scientists say that's worth exploring further. Thomas More, Sky News, 